Now let's get into a demonstration of the platform and its features. I'm going to be happy to answer your questions after, as this will be a quick five minute overview of what we've seen as the most pressing needs for the virtual experiences. From an organizer's standpoint, we've identified three key things that you should be concerned about. Firstly, how to get people excited and give them access to the platform, and how to keep traction through those live events so that you can really increase that engagement. And lastly, producing tangible results for your virtual event. I'm gonna walk you through how our platform can help you with each of these. The first thing we'll talk about is how people get excited and so they can access the platform. The first touch point will be a branded email sent from our system. As you can see, we've branded this with our fictional professional conference. And as a user with one touch, I can click and access the app. Now, if you want more secure methods of, of activation, we can also leverage SSO as well as multi-factor activation. As you can see, the branding of the event has been incorporated on the left side and at the top and throughout with branding, colors, and banners. All of these menu items on the left and at the top can be customized with icons, wording, or added to as you maybe add more modules to the engagement. Now, the most important thing is actually the home screen. And this is where the users are really gonna be able to interact um, and see the latest about the event. This can be a one-way feed. As you can see here, we've pinned a, a post with a link to the guest speakers session, as well as some resources and pre-event feedback we want people to do. But it also can act as a social feed. As you can see, people can post pictures and videos, like and comment on those. And lastly, also, as an, a way of highlighting exhibitors or sponsors or other bits of content um, with calls to action to go visit maybe their sponsorship page. Now outside of that for gaining traction, we also wanna create some calls to action. This could be as simple as creating a, a, a way of, for the participants to send in questions to the speakers ahead of time, but it also can be a way for them to you know, check out the agenda, really dig into the sessions, and you know, see which ones are really gonna resonate with them so that they can prioritize that. We also had a call to action for some pre-event feedback. So this is a great way of getting some feedback from your participants that can maybe shape what you're gonna do with the event ahead of time. Lastly, I've been already pre-matched with some people um, by virtue of filling out a quick matchmaking form, which will match me with people of similar interests. As you can see, I matched up very well with Giovanni. Now let's take maybe a restart and say the live moment has come and we're ready to start. I'm gonna open up the live stream as an example. Now when this is live, this could automatically uh, launch on the home screen or it can be associated with specific sessions. I wanna show you how uh, we can produce professional looking streams that include your branding and really can be pretty dynamic. So as I launch it, you'll see we can have one speaker with a keynote addressing the audience. Then we have a keynote presenting, uh, the speaker presenting his slides. And then we could run into a polling session where the results of the SpotMe uh, administered polls are actually dis displayed right on the stream. We might then go to a quick interstitial uh, where you could either have sponsorship opportunities or just have a break five speakers in a round table all discussing at the same time with their video up and then maybe a Q&A session with the uh, questions coming from SpotMe. Back to a keynote with two speakers this time and then lastly multiple speakers all addressing the Q&A that's coming in through the system. Now as the video goes around again I want to point out the interactivity. The most basic is the clapping that we can do to make sure that the speakers know they're on the right track or maybe even create some excitement. As you can see, we have a Q&A uh, that's coming through where you can either pose questions from, from the administrative side or also let the users uh, you know, start to ask the speaker questions. And lastly, we also have our polling. I'm gonna launch a poll and you'll see that over here, I get a pop-up to join the interactivity. Now it's gonna ask me what my main uh, reason for being here today. I'm gonna start the countdown. And as you can see, the countdown starts and I'm able to actually lock in, I think I wanna network with people. You'll see that from the administrative side, when I close the poll, you'll see the results automatically. 
And then we can also do other uh, questions, such as a, maybe a scale rating or a word cloud. So that's, you know, I, as a user, now I've interacted, and now maybe we're getting into the post event level. This is really important because now that the live mode has passed, it's time to focus on, on what the users really want to access. So as I tap into the resources section, you can see that you, we have recordings of the various um, streams that happened, and that's processed automatically by our system. They'll be available almost immediately for, uh, for on-demand content from the users. As well, for, from the administrative side, we're gonna look into you know, what you can get out of this in terms of um, statistics and analytics. So you can see how many viewers, how often they were clapping. This is the administrative panel for all the Q&A questions that were coming in. And these can all be exported um, so you can really see which users were really engaged and how they were engaging. And lastly, I'll quickly show off our analytics. And this is really where you can get a holistic view of uh, you know, all of the activities that the participants were doing outside of the live stream. So you can see how active they were, when they were active, and then also other things such as page views, survey results, and maybe you're really interested in you know, how well the uh, users were interacting with sponsors. So you can see here, we can see which sponsors were the most active and then generate an export for them uh, so they can check in with the people that actually viewed their page. All of these stats can, and analytics from user generated content can be exported to Excel or via an integration um, thrown out to your third party of choice um, so that you can digest it there. Now, I know that was a lot to digest in a pretty short period. I would love to discuss any further questions you might have about the presentation. Thank you.